Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a fall hot cocoa bar. This is not a huge cocoa bar. I just wanted to do something little because the girls love it and so do I. So let's go ahead and go shopping. First I went to Target and I wanted to buy all of the supplies and they have all of their Halloween decorations and candy out. Um, I wanted to go ahead and pick up everything that we needed. So let's go shopping. All right, we are back home and I have all of the supplies that I need, so you will be seeing that very soon. But first I wanted to go ahead and get some labels made. I have a few bottles that I wanted to put labels on so that way we know exactly what it is and to also make it look pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. now that all the labels are on we're gonna go ahead and get cleaning I have this apple cider it is so good it smells just like fall so we're gonna go ahead and clean off all the counters and the walls and I'm gonna go ahead and move this echo over so that way we can kind of hide it behind everything and then we're gonna get set up I went ahead and took my M&Ms out and I wanted to try to put a cup inside and then put all this candy around it so that way it looked like it was full but it didn't work out i tried and tried and tried and it just did not work which is fine so i just took that out and it's just gonna have to be halfway full until i can get myself another bag no big deal so when i was out shopping i tried looking for those caramel pieces the ones that are like squares i could not find them anywhere and i have no idea why so i just went ahead and picked up these little beads we're going to use them to cover up some apples anyways so it really doesn't matter and then i got two of these pumps from walmart they are soap pumps i couldn't find the bigger ones to put into these bottles but it's okay it looks pretty and i went ahead and put pumpkin syrup and caramel syrup and then for the two bottles in the back the caramel syrup and the white chocolate syrup up. those bottles already came together I just took the label off and added my own label now we're gonna go ahead and add some hot cocoa to this cute little jar Now that we are done filling everything up, we're gonna go ahead and set up this little tray. I got this tray from Target, oh gosh, a couple of months ago. I don't know if they still have it. I don't believe they do. But anyways, I went ahead and picked up some of these cute sprinkles. One has a little mug on top. The other one has a pumpkin and they are for fall sprinkles, so super cute. And then I have, of course, pumpkin spice. You can't have a fall bar without pumpkin spice. And then I have some cinnamon sticks just for looks or you could pop it into your hot cocoa. Allie really wanted this snoopy cup so i was like fine we'll just get the snoopy cups i wanted something cuter than that but it is what it is it is for the kids right and i went ahead and started setting everything up of course i moved it around 1500 times and then i did not like the lids on top of these cups so i went ahead and put those away and just displayed the cups itself i added some straws to one of them and then these caramels to another one these are pumpkin caramel and they are so delicious i know i say caramel wrong jason always gets me on that and i don't care i'm saying caramel just like i say pecan not pecan <laughs> so anyways here is the bar yes i know it is smaller than my usual bars but don't worry christmas is coming soon i'm going to have a huge bar for christmas that's mostly when we do our hot cocoa bar because it is colder out. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you a drink that I have been getting from Starbucks. I wanted to make it myself because I don't feel like spending, spending $8 every time I go. So I have some chai tea. It is pumpkin chai tea and I added some milk about half and half and then I'm going to take some pumpkin syrup. I'm going to add two or three pumps in there. My pump was just starting to work, so I went ahead and added a little extra. And then I'm going to take this Pumpkin Delight, and I'm going to add just about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Once I have done that, I'm gonna add some pumpkin spice to the top, and then I'm going to froth it, and it's going to get double in size. 
Now, once that is done, you're gonna go ahead and pour it on the very top. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more pumpkin spice. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this white chocolate syrup. And there you have it. This is so good. I love it. I've been sharing this recipe and everybody loves it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.